welcome to part 104 of Persona 4. In the last episode, we're still despondent on how this concert's turning out, so it's time for a pep talk. You really get into that do-or-die spirit sometimes. But that seems fitting for him. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. A real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. We're here to start a band, not a fight club. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke-senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this! I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all! Okay, let's try putting your music together, and I'll sing along. Whoa, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. That sound pretty good? Oh, that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Hell no! We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. Everyone, let's cheer up, okay? And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine! <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls! That sings about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. You know, Teddy, that's called shoplifting, and you can be fired for that. But nonetheless, we're still going to be rolling on with this concert. So we're going into the evening time. And sadly, this is a weekend, so we're not going to be able to do anything with Sayoko. That means we can go read a book. And unfortunately, that also means... Oh wait, my courage is maxed! So the only thing left is knowledge, diligence, and also understanding. That's the only things left to be maxed out. Oh, and seeing as how the event took over the entirety of the day, time for me to do the shopping program. Let's see what new thing Tanaka has for us this time. And Tanaka will give us either nice shoes, which is something for Chie, 
or something even better, huge fish. So, here's what you do. You buy the huge fish combo. And there's a good reason for that. Or you can buy the nice shoes. If By this time, you should have the money to do so. Provided you haven't altered the, um... <coughs> you know, you haven't altered the difficulty. But even then, you still should have the money to do so. Because, um, going through four dungeons, you're practically going to be rolling in about maybe four to five hundred thousand yen by the time you get here anyway. On that note, we're just going to continue gaining understanding. <coughs> Oof. And seeing as how we've got understanding, well, we got the uh, origami done, we got antibiotic gel for that. And now for more cutscenes. Crap, the crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh, our costumes okay? I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer will work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer! You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? You really are something. Now that's our sensei! He's got big brass balls! And when I say balls, I mean... <laughs> We get it, we get it, it's a figure of speech, we don't care, shut up! Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Rise John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full blown, one time only performance. Now, who's ready? We are! Fired up and ready to go! Now listen up! We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Alright! Let's do this! Here goes! Yeah!
They're asking for an encore. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't think about that. We only know one song! What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation! Stage dive? Hey, don't sound so excited! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. Hey, wait, you idiot! They just dodged out of the way. How? I didn't know. It was possible to stand on your own face. And that, my friends, is called a pratfall. Although, my character is on his feet. Yosuke and Kanji, dear God. Kanji is dead. Play simple. The way he landed, he's fucking dead. I, if he gets up, he's Superman. Whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen. I think that event is done, although if this was Persona 4 original, we would not have that event. So, anything from the 8th all the way to the 10th would be a free day to start gaining your um, social links. <clears throat> and seeing as how it's Monday, let's check and see if we can actually rank up Sayoko. Or, we can actually try to... Go to the shrine and feed this lady first. Red goldfish? Sure, let's give it to her. And we got a Kingyo stone for that. And quite honestly, I could use that stone, and I think that's for modif I mean, um, not modifying. I meant to say that's for crafting, basically. Well, she's gone now, so all we need to do is go back home. Because on the real, I really want to try to at least go to the um, fortunes at least one, two, or maybe three days to get a good enough fortune so that Eri would actually be uh, able to be, you know leveled up as far as ranked up is concerned because she's at five i want to try to get vishnu and here's the thing vishnu learns a n nice little ability known as angelic grace and I, if divine grace ups your healing angelic grace makes it to where not only will it up your healing but it also up your sp healing as well so yeah, I want to try to get that Persona. Although I will try to find a no fire and put it in its, and put it in one of its slots because yeah, that weakness of fire thing 
that's a bad thing. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to be inviting the guys, well, the gang over for the study session because they know about the midterms. And now for our next question. It's pretty much about Napoleon. And Napoleon actually invented glass jars. Even though they weren't glass jars. Which, by the way, is something... Uh, something actually interesting to know. Because Napoleon kept most of his food in cans and preserves. That way, if everybody runs out of supplies on the enemy side... He has more supplies to work with, and he always won, save for that one time where he surrendered. Nonetheless, we gotta go to Junez, basically. Wow! Oh. Hi, nanako chan Hi, Teddy! Hey! Greetings to you! Greetings to you! Looks like you're having fun! Yo! Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless! <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto cool riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it! I quit! This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams! It's time for my animal crackers. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin! Hands off the penguin! It's mine! Oh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the Library, but I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. 
If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings, too, and we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. Am I really a king? <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day! I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. And with that said, Teddy is now at a higher rank, and on top of that, we'll be coming home to harvest these vegetables that I have already waiting for me to be harvested. Let's see, this must be the crackweed I left behind. And I've read the gardening book, so it should have already been harvested by now, but it's not. So let's take the crackweed. So that means more keys for all of us. We've got veggies. We're gonna need all the keys we can get. And we're gonna put some more wheat seedlings in, so that way we'll have more crack wheat. Yes, the more crack wheat we have, the more keys we have, and thankfully when we go back into Secret Laboratory, we won't have to worry about wasting keys. Because we already have what we need to go into the um, main boss's area. What should I say? The, the um, optional boss's area. Sorry, I have the hiccups. My bad. But seeing as how Dojima's not here and it's not Wednesday, we might as well just go on ahead and try to get some understanding. But first, Kanji. Or so, no, so, no, no, no. Naoto wants to go into the TV. Because Naoto is underpowered. Oh, I forgot. We're going to have to bring Naoto with us. And Naoto is underpowered. <clears throat> Jesus Christ on a stick. Let's read Easy Origami. So that way we'll be able to make Origami. And finally, finally rake up all of my um, understanding. So on this note, we're pretty much not going to be able to do anything else because it's going to be storming down raining. And even worse, midterms. So on that note, seeing as how we're closing in on November, there's going to be a short sliver of time we're going to be able to do anything for that matter. Because after today, we got the mid the midterm exams, and then from there on, we've got not just the midterm exams, but also the cultural festival somewhere in the middle of the month, and near the end of the month, it's a Halloween event exclusive to Golden. That's a lot of things. But for right now, the answer for the, the very first jack-o'-lantern is turnips. 
which I gotta ask, why would you use a turnip for a jack-o'-lantern? Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we are done for the day. In the next episode, we're going to be starting on the midterm exam in part 105. This is RV Man 985. See you guys next time. Oh, and the difference between this midterm and everything else, there's actually a break in between. Peace out, guys.